Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 2023 Sun Cable Big Rivers Football League Senior Men's Grand Final. My name is Tara Harris. It's a pleasure to host you this afternoon. Company in the commentary box, Emily Johnson. How are you, Emily? Very good. As we get underway here, tight start. We're in a bit of a rush, but all good. McCarthy in the middle taps it down. Looking good. It's a good start there from Souths, heading it straight to their forward 50. Look at there with a very big presence straight off the bat, obviously defending very hard. They've done well with an out there. Shut down by Catherine Souths. Very good defensive there from the Bulldogs. They've opted for the grandstand wing. Running it up there. Great right boot heading up into their forward. And very well defended there by Catherine Souths. That's good early on there from Catherine Souths. Obviously a big high pressure game here. A lot on the line. Bit of a push in the back there, but they're going to keep on playing there. Nooka working it to the middle and straight to forward and cut off again by number eight. That's done well there. That is Jessen Blitner. One of the ones to watch, I think. He's named in the best a few times this year and moves the ball towards us in the grandstand side and then cutting back to the middle. That's it there. And obviously under pressure there, number 18, Lachlan King from the Catherine Souths. Looks like he was wrapped up. Umpire's going to have a ball up there. After a ripping start here in the opening few minutes of the quarter. Great ruck there from Nooka Bulldogs. Over to the attack there for the Bulldogs. Number 16, Thomas Waramara. They want to attack well here. That's number three there, Curly Silva. Played for Waratah in the NTFL season. Good right boot. Scattered in, bit messy. Great pick up there from Catherine Souths. So we're heading back up to the opposite of the grandstand wing. Great mark there, good hands. That's Runny Fijo. Off to 19, that's Josiah Farah. On the left boot as he kicks it forward. His options there, it has bounced, it is a scurry. Look at doing a bit of clean up work there through number 19 in Sylvester Waramara. It's good pressure from uh, Nuka, outnumbered them in their defensive 50, running really hard back and looking to catapult out. But here we go, here they go now. Just got to find some options. A bit of a shanky kick there. He's kicked it forward. But, God, that's picked up well. Oh, he's had a little bit of a fumble there. Good pressure there from number six from Catherine Stouts. Braden Skeen McMahon. And he's pushed that forward. He's got three on one here. Nice clean-up effort there from the Bulldogs. Bit of pressure there. That's a bounce there. A fortunate bounce for number four, James Marshall. Oh. Nook are really organised behind the footy here early. Plenty of numbers in their defensive 50, just rushing it out of their defence, which we saw in the women's game as well. So hopefully they can tie it up here with the men's. And a great chase down tackle. And they've paid advantage there. We're looking at a three on one. Oh, he's just over the tip of his fingers. It's a beautiful pick up there from the Bulldogs. That's it. You think at this stage, maybe just oh. a slowdown needs to happen. There's that kind of jitters in the first couple of minutes it's here that very they've got to frantic. settle into it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sweet niblets. Bit of pressure, a bit of tension early on. Free kick's already been given away there. It's good early. As you said, it's frantic. Moving the ball maybe a bit quick, but rushing it again. So let's see if they can get a result here. So it's a good kick in there from number seven, Rodney Nagawali. And it's just gone out there. And we'll have a boundary throw in. We are in the Cat Souths forward 50. A few players flooding back, but God, they've got a lot of numbers there, the Bulldogs. Yeah, really playing very defensive. Oh, short little throw in from the young. Oh. Oh. The young boundary umpire there just allowed Catherine South to get it out the front of the pack. That's right, and Another that's the shot. It's a behind on the board there, one for Catherine South, and that's thanks to number 18, Lockie King. Oh. And they've off with a run here. Couple of bounces there for number 12, Jake Farrell from the Bulldogs. He's done well to push it forward. Followed there, couple of bounces, two on one there. And that's a night Cat South needed that one. Brees Hall working really hard there, all by himself. So didn't quite get it, get enough help there, and it turned it over in their their forward half. That's it. Cat South having a lot of control in these last couple of minutes. And that looks like number 14. Adam Bostock taking the game on. He really is. He did well there. 
Oh, oh. That's a high fly there from Catherine South. A hold has been paid, so the, yep. the player under it didn't matter what the Catherine South player did on top. No, he's after a short kick there to Jess and Blitner. Taking his time here. This is good build up from Catherine South. Oh, he's flown. Massive there. Pressure early on. Good hands there from McCarthy. And again with the clean up for Nooker. Their defence working overtime in the open five minutes of this quarter. They've opted for the switch here. And they're back on the grandstand wing. Takes a bounce. Takes another bounce. You can get it inside. It's good hand pass there. He's running it up. That's one bounce there. That's good under pressure there from Daniels. Robertson running onto it. A lot of pressure from other players. And may have a ball up. Nooka worked that really well out of the defensive 50. Just didn't have, they were even up the ground, but just managed to force the force the Camels to leave their, sorry, the Crocs to leave their players um, and move the ball quite quickly to get it in their advantage. The free here. Yep. There was a great ruck there from Josh McCarthy. Just wrapped up there. The Cro Crocs did well to get away with it. Well, he's done well. Right boot there. Just pushed off the play after number 19 there. Sylvester Waramara. And we've had a little bit of another push out. Push out. Not really sure. They're trying to figure out whose ball it is here. <laughs> Looks like number 24 from the Crocs will take it. That is Jack Murray. He's had a good start. He's had his hands on the footy a little bit. He's opted for a chip there. I don't know if that was intended. That looks like Parker Fawcett. Earned himself a Rising Star nomination. Plays for St Mary's in the NTFL. Looker there, done a good job too. They're going to run it with it. They've taken a bounce. That's number 15. The dribble pass has worked. It's a chip kick. He's put it in nicely. That is nice from Bulldogs there. I think much more controlled than the Crocs going in at the moment. Oh, he's oh, he's, it off. he's got a bit of a run on him. That's number three. That is Kirtley Silver. And I set it on the drive down him. He is an absolute weapon. And he does he does that all day. Kirtley Silver plays for Waratah in the NTFL competition. And I can imagine he's had a bit of that this season as well. So that's really good start there from Nooka. Good and composed. And from that opening few minutes, just a um, good knowledge of how their players operate. Nice, good kicks. Nice and easy. Heading back up to the centre. Just the one behind for Souths and the goal on the board for Nooka. Just, an, I think, a nerve settler for Nooka there and would like to see Catherine Souths are rushing it a bit. Um, would like to see them use the ball a bit more mm. um, and control. They probably need to control the play a little bit before you'd blazing imagine, away. Yeah, you'd imagine it perhaps a quarter time here, coaches Caldo, Peter Caldo, might just tell them to simmer down, you know, take control <laughs> of the ball, do what they need to to get control of it here. Great rut contest there between McCarthy and Ezekiel Thompson. As we're drilling it through the centre, it's off Ronnie Fijo's boot. Expect a bit of a bounce there. Ronnie Fijo, oh, he's paid a push in the back, I'm gonna say. He's got some players flooding forward. He's got options here on the wing. He's got three players <laughs> 30 metres in front of him on the boundary. Screaming for it. And he drops it in there. He's, oh, well, that does look a bit high, but it caught a play on. It's a good pick up there. It, Nooker again, great smother. Yeah, good hands. That's fantastic hands there from Michael Hammond. He's called play. It must have been touched off the boot and um, down the other end. He's done well. He's done that on this side of the camera arc. He's got a nice close-up view for the highlights <laughs> reel. McCarthy, great ruck. He's pu pushing it forward. That was number five, Cedric Robertson. He's running forward. Just a three on one there and he's done well to wrap it up because you know if you give this nook aside an inch they will take a mile and we'll have a ball up it's McCarthy and Reese Hall it's just out Josiah Farah to just not close enough to get that one have another ball in Nooka Bulldogs setting up really well defensively they were they had three players to one ahead of the footy there where that ball was kicked so Catherine South, a few things to work on, maybe not give them the first quarter to get the nerves out. Um, and we'll see how they go for the rest, maybe settle the rest of this quarter and keep going. That's it. 
Again, a high pressure game Ooh. here. It's kind of wrapped up there by Cedric Robertson. And Rodney Nagawali involved there as well. It'll be another ball up. Good ruck, good clearance. Pat South, right place, right time. Hand passes off. Just stepped out there. That's really good work there from boundary umpire. Unfortunate for Ronnie Fijo. Josh McCarthy really doing some good work in the ruck here. He doesn't want to let um, Ezekiel Thompson jump over him. I think he's got the height advantage, but Ezekiel's got the leap. Using his body well there. And we'll have another ball up here. Plenty of separation between the rucks. Very much so. They think that's great off the boot. That's oh, a good read there. And Ronnie Fijo will run with that. He's done a great kick. Oh, he's just unfortunate there. It's a great lead in. But it is in the forward here for Cat Souths. They do need a goal. Just about to enter the 11 minute mark of the first quarter of umpire. With a ball up. That's Parker Fawcett. Kicks it high. Oh. Oh, he's done well. Josiah Farrell left boot. Oh, <laughs> that's it. That's what they wanted. Good goal there for Farrell. Two Nooker players went up for that and no one on the no one left on the ground. And Farrell just swooped on it and uh, a great finish from him um, for his first goal of the game. That's it, Josiah Farrah plays for Palmerston Magpies in the NTFL competition. Played, I want to say, just under maybe 90 games for Southern Districts as well. He's a well-known player, played for Thunder back in 2019. He's been doing it for a few years now, and he'll hopefully, if they feed it to him, he'll have a bit of a day out. So He's kicked 10 this year. I'm not sure how many he's kicked in the final, but a solid effort throughout the season. So probably one to keep an eye on. Having a bit of a, a player, he's getting up the ground. Very um, much so. And using the ball quite well. And we're back in the centre here with the ball up. Didn't have a win from the ruck contest. Oh, that looks... A play on has been called. We're heading opposite wing here. Couple of Catherine South options. It's a swift hand pass. Drills it into forward. He's on the arc. He's decided to kick that in. It's a fly... Oh, unfortunately... Oh. Bulldogs there with the great hands. And it might be paid as a bit of a late hit there. He's opted to drop it into the centre. A couple of tools there for the Souths. Good shepherd from McCarthy. And that's Matthew Lingari there. Hands it off to Roberts. Over to Daniels. Kicks it forward. He's done well to regain keep possession there, Jesson Blitner from the Souths. And he's done well to turn that around. Just held on a little long there, I think. Yeah. Umpires picked that one out. Oh, that's great work <laughs> that's there from mark. the Bulldogs. They'll do that all day. That is Chris Daniels there from Nooka. Probably hear it. it is a bit windy. We feel like here the wind's going to the left of screen, but on the ground it looks like it's going... To the right of screen, as we saw in the previous game. Correct. So it's really anyone's game. There's no <laughs> win favour in this game. Oh, he's being kicked back up. Oh, he's gone for the one hand. Opted for the left boot, drilled it into the forward line there. You have Josiah Farrell lurking. Oh, he's done, oh, he's done well there to get out of it. Josiah Farrell hands it off there. That's number four, Three James Marshall. Three free players in the forward Oh, 50. They've done well to make themselves available there. That's Connor Mile. That's nice, Parker Fawcett. Boom! Bang. Let's put a dent in that shed behind the goals there. It certainly. <laughs> vigor that he kicked that ball. I'm going to I'm have to call Shannon Jackson about that one, get some repairs made near the showgrounds. <laughs> call the, the Ag Society. <laughs> no, he's done well there. And just like that, Catherine South have regained possession of this game and control of this game. Nook is still very much in it. 
they're still they're, they're oh, yes. are great. It's a really good opening quarter here, and I think fans of both sides will be impressed of what impressed of what they've seen so far. Nook have come out strong, and off their half back, they've been really strong. But as soon as Catherine South managed to get it in that forward 40, forward 30, they've been able to score. They haven't been able to do it much, and in that occasion, there was three Catherine South players, correct, and one um, Bulldogs player by themselves. So um, it just shows they can get it in get it in quick with a bit of a uh, Bit of finesse, and they'll they'll keep scoring. It's a good ruck there from McCarthy. Didn't favour the Crocs. They've boosted it forward there. They do have a player loose, and that there that's Lester Gambala. Pushed it forward. Good pressure there from the Crocs. Crocs have had a bit of a clearance there. Oh, that's a great mark. Great mark there from number 12 in Jake Farrell. Oh, he's going to push his player under pressure and it's just out of bounds there. We will have a boundary throw in. I think Bulldogs just using their pace really well at the moment and not letting um, Cat South have any uncontested ball, no. uncontested marks. Oh. You can see we've had a few slips this afternoon here. It is a little bit damp out there on the ground. I thought that the it might dry up. Underneath is yeah. a bit damp. Yeah. You'd expect it to maybe dry off, but it's still with the slips we've had this afternoon. Must be just hanging around a bit. Great mark there from number 12. That's kind of mild. someone in the middle there. He's got players two in the middle. Forward, and he's got options here on the boundary <laughs> wing. Oh. Bodies on the line. And he has been wrapped up there. Um, Great defensive says. work from Cedric Robertson. He's cut off a few things and Catherine South were out there. They had two players free in the middle. He's just cut that off and um, forced a stoppage. Umpire ball up. Boosted forward by the Crocs. Options. He's just tipped his fingers there. You've got Parker Fawcett running in front. Parker's got it. Didn't have prior. Yep, umpire says that's mine. I'll ball that one up. Looks like young Lachlan Amalan there taking charge, telling him what for, keeping this game in control. Good ruck contest, Parker Force it back with it. He's opted for the right boot snap. Oh, he's done it. Oh. Looks good. Kicked it. He's kicked it truly, umpire says. Yep, you can have that one. And that bumps them up. That's 3-1, putting them at 19. And look, it's just the one goal just past the 17 minute mark in the opening quarter and that's a start that you want there from the props there especially if you peter caldo absolutely and parker force it really that's his second goal he's become quite dangerous there um just trying to find some notes on him i don't know much about him yeah he <laughs> just... um plays for st mary's in the northern territory football league and it's like a rising star nomination early on in the season and he was really good kind of across the board he's played a little bit of footy with our talent team as well with the AFLNT talent side um, and he's got his twin sister Poppy Fawcett who actually plays for St Mary's as well who's a part of the Coates Talent League. He's had a really good start to this game. Yeah you'd expect him to make an impression and he has early on. Kicked forward there great opportunity. Far oh no sorry that's my mistake that's number 26 Damien O'Brien great mark. 28 I apologise Andrew Jones. Wind swirling a bit so it might be a it's tough a lot going on. kick. <laughs> It has, I hate to say it, I feel like it has died down since you said it. Yeah. But he has got a reasonable, he's got a good angle here, you'd think. And there can't be much Should left have the distance. quarter. Should be first on the board for O'Brien. It's a good kick. It's just gone through for a behind. They're just retrieving the ball and we'll get back to the ball. Back under play. Grateful for that Arnhem Crows supporter there. Arnhem Crows obviously going to be celebrating tonight. They were successful in their senior women's campaign and just took home the senior women's grand final. Great mark by McCarthy. He's opted for the right. Little chip kick. Josiah Farrah. Stunning. Peeling for a 50 there, but I think that in the, in the contest... Got to put pressure on, but that was great from the big ruck there. Yeah. Um, playing on and using his foot skills, I really like that. It's what you want from the ruckman as well. You want them to use their height appropriately, take those marks when they come under contest, and they've done well with it. They've put Josiah in a good position, second shot in goal in under two minutes. 
Some kick from 50 odd metres out. Left boot. Oh, that wind. <laughs> it looked good, but it's that wind, fine. as we said, it's just an absolute spiral out there. So, unfortunately, it did drift through and looks like it might be out. It was on out the in the fall. Yep. Yep. Safe hands there with number four. Jaron Andrews, their captain, just taking a little bit of control here, telling his players to move where they need to. He's opted for the grandstand wing on out in the full, unfortunately. Just rushed his kick a little bit there. He did. And that will be a kick to Cat South here. Cat South really taking control of this game in the second half of this quarter. They can get another goal here. It's a really, really strong start, and Nooker with the work to do. Um, but if Nooker can stop him, um, don't let him get a goal and maybe look to transition the boys. Their time to get it back to the other end of the field for them. That's it. They, you'd want another goal for, as, for Nooker heading into the next quarter. It's coming off the boot there of number four, James Marshall. Up. Oh, that is a big <laughs> leap. Just kicks it high. That's dangerous in this Cat Souths forward line. No, they've done well to regain possession there, and that's number 28, Nico Farrell, boosted it forward. Looks good there. Number three, that's Curtly Silver, my man. He's going to run up. He takes a bounce. Boosts it forward on the right boot as he got options, and a shut down there by Cap South, number 21 there. And that's Xavier Brenton Reed. Bit of clean up there back there and keeping control. Bit of the goalkeeper action, perhaps. It was exciting from Curley moving through the middle. It's yeah. what Nook have done. They've done it in this first quarter. Just strong defence from the Crocs. Oh, Here that's we go a great again. take. That's number seven, Nagawali. Boosts it forward. Nice. Looks like it's number 28, Andrew Jones. Wrong team Apologies. there. Apologies. <laughs> number, number 20. Tom Thompson. <laughs> I'm doing... See, look, that's why you're here, Em, keeping me straight and narrow. Just got a couple I just of... I get too excited. A couple of sheets here that we're working with. And the wind, you know. Oh, it's unfortunate. Just drifted off for a behind. Started left, stayed left. That is the first quarter done and dusted here at the Sun Cable 2023 Senior Men's Big River Grand Final. We'll be back right after the break. Captain South 3-2-20 to Nookers 1-1-7. Power and water plays an essential role in the Northern Territory. Our electricity, gas, water and sewage services impact the lives of every Territorian every day. We're committed to providing safe and reliable services and we're part of some of the Territory's biggest projects. We strive to deliver the best for our customers and we're proud to make a difference to the lives of Territorians. Power and water plays in a set.
pressure on the mark from Nooker. They've done that in the first quarter and continue to do that again. Oh. Dribbling forward, you've got two on one there for the Bulldogs. He does have options. He goes for the snap. Oh, he's kicked it. Oh, it did look good. And he's paid it. Nooker needed that. That's very Tom much so. Thompson there with the the left foot snap. Done very well there under pressure, two on one, and managed to get himself a little bit of a goal from it. That pushes them up. Catherine South, 3 1 19 to Nooker's 3 2 20. Really like that from Tom Thompson. He was he was outnumbered three to one, but he's had his hands on the footy a little bit, two behind so far, so it's nice for him to get that goal. He's he's got his range now. And we're back in the centre. We'll let young Lachlan Amelan here with the ball up. It's a good ruck there, one by number twenty two, Lingari. Pushed forward by the Bulldogs. There's three of them there. Picked up really nicely there by Michael Hammond. He's got to come back with it. Handed over. Didn't really... Didn't really see what that one was for. And it looks like it's been wrapped up. Umpire says, I'll have that. And it will be a ball up in the nooker forward. No successful party out of the rut contest. And umpire might have another ball up. Yes, he will. Ball goes up. Pressure early on. Bulldogs have a little bit of an escape route there through, Doug, through Michael Joshua. Cleared there, just can't pick it up. James Marshall. Oh, that's nicely done there by Silva. He's off to check. Oh, he's just gone off to the side there, but God, that was magic there from Silva. And this is very similar to what we saw in the opening quarter for the Bulldogs. Good possession. Just wait for that ball to be retrieved here. And we'll see what Cat South might muster up. He's got the switch here. Taken there nicely by their captain in Rory Daylight. He's got options here on the wing. Right boot. Punched forward. Shrugs the tackle. Kicked forward there. And that's taken nicely there by Kat South. Good strength there from Lachlan King to battle through and get the advantage. Oh. <laughs> Waramara with a big spoil. Looks like it's just out. Ronnie Fijo's had a few of those today where he's so close, but it's just dribbled over the line. Looks like it'll be an umpire's ball up. The wind seems to have picked up a bit here, so that's um, <laughs> playing a bit of havoc. You can see it there behind the score. You can see the flags moving around. Umpires found a free kick somewhere. It'll go the way of Nuka. Bit of confusion. Not sure what that was for, but we'll take it. A good take there from number five in Cedric Robertson. He's launched it forward. Oh no. Oh, just a bounce. No, another behind there for Nuka. Tom Thompson's been really dangerous this quarter. He has. Was caught behind his player there and lucky that he slipped over. Defender playing in front. Scoreline there just narrowing even more. Captain South 3 2 20 to Nuka's 2. 16 back to the center here and that's a good mark for Cat South's player there oh and he's pushed it forward oh Nooker with control ops for the center and that's a great take there by Silva Silva's found Lester Gambala 
Oh, and he's read it well. He has read the it man really of the well. moment, Tom Thompson. Oh, mate. <laughs> I'm a big fan of this oh. guy. He's been super dangerous this quarter. Or well, maybe that's oh, not telling, him. And I love that. He's telling him exactly That's where not that Tom mark Thompson. Is. He knows exactly where that mark is. No, that's their captain in Jared Andrews. Tom Thompson's coming to the boundary here. So <laughs> he's had a big quarter. He's got to have a breather. Jared Andrews. That's this, a great mark. This would be good for them. Captain's goal. As he makes his way forward. A little bit of a skip. And just goal kick there by Cat South. Played on quickly. He's opted for King on the wing. Cat South just waiting for the ball to get their hands a little bit. Yes. And Nooker being able to make... Uh, I would like to see the spoils stat, if we can get some stats up oh, later. Yeah, I'll, Maybe I'll, not. I'll call my friend. <laughs> That's a ball in. Good ruck contest there. We've got Michael Joshua lurking. Picked up there. Paid advantage. Cedric Robinson chucks it on his right boot. Bounce. Oh. The wind behind it has pushed it all the way over the line. Nooker are happy with that. That puts them in front for the first time since the opening minute. Cedric Robertson with his first. Nooker have been peppering this quarter and haven't quite got the result. They think they've kicked two goals, two goals this quarter, so really coming back at um, Catherine South and taking advantage. I think there's a wind advantage that way, yeah. but they are playing better footy this quarter. Yeah, they just seem to have a little bit more control, but it does resemble the opening half of the first quarter. So we <laughs> might see a little bit of a switch here from Catherine South, digging a little deeper. So we're back in the centre here. Lockie Amalan, ball up. It's been a oh. penalty called. I think Nooker Bulldog Maybe not. player wasn't in the square, in the goal square. Oh, no, oh, other way. South. Oh, no. No, he's going to... So it'll be a... Another ball up, I'd say. Not sure what's happening here. No, perhaps a warning. Should be a warning. He should re-ball it up. Yeah, there you go. Warning to Nooker. Bit of a lack of awareness there from the fullback. Desperate kick out of the centre there from Nawali. Josiah Farrah lurking. They've done well to pick that up and clear it out. They've opted for the switched grandstand side. And Jake Farrell will run that one down. He's booted there. It looks good. Nice tidy hands there from Cedric Robertson. Oh, he's gone for the punch early. He's taking a bounce. Reese Hall with a shot. Oh! oh. <laughs> I apologise for those who have to turn their TV sets down just then. I did get a bit carried away with that spectacular attempt at grab. He's shanked the kick a little bit there. It's all right. Captain South do the mopping up. They've got a little bit of a run through here. Oh, high contest. Cat South wants it. There's been a sling tackle call. And the ball will come back. And there's a little bit of... Plenty of conversations between the uh, umpires and the players today. That's it, looks like. Umpire's got it. Umpire Amalan got it under control. That's it. He's good at what he does, Amalan. Oh, oh that's there's a, a push. take there. Great mark, but the push was... Uh, done before that. And that there's Jaeger. Ops for the left boot. Launches it. The barrel. Like oh, 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 good hands. Great hands there from Robertson. Well, Robertson's been good this quarter. He's taken a few intercept marks. He's kicked a goal. Really controlling the footy for Very much Nooker. So. He does have a few options there in the centre, but he might look... Yep, he's opted to kick back to Robertson. Just for a bit of a reset here. Push forward. That's a good mark there. And that's number 18, Jaragba. The wind has died down a little bit. He won't have much. He'll be kicking it from about 47 and a half, maybe. Oh. <laughs> 47.3. Or... It's a good kick. It looks good. He's oh. kicked it. You can see Dean Daniels right on the line there celebrating before it passed the post. That is a strong second quarter there from the Nooka Bulldogs.
extends their lead just that little bit further. Cats has 3 2 20 to look a 4 4 28. Three goals to none this quarter. I'm not sure Catherine South have scored, so they would be looking to really put the big effort into the second half of this quarter and not let Nooka hit the scoreboard anymore. Correct. They want to keep that margin as tight as possible. We'll have a bit of a... It's hot out there, Em. Obviously, I heard you discuss yep. earlier in the senior women's game. Get through the quarter, take the break, settle down and come back firing in the third, but they don't want to let Nooka run away with it. And we're back in the centre. Well, they've made a ruck change here. And big Pat Doyle in the middle, in the ruck. Yes. Oh, no. Andrew Jones in the ruck for Catherine Sout. Oh, it's a great take. And there's Patrick Doyle there with that yeah, mark. Yeah. No, you just knew what was going to happen. Yeah, yeah. it's predicting the play. Yeah, oh, terrible kick. He's kicked it to the man on the mark. Oh, rough. It's that, the, um, I know we've mentioned the wind a lot, but the wind is hectic. <laughs> I think that was just a poor kick. But anyway. Got a bounce. Cat Sout here. An opportunity there. Nook are running with it. They've opted for the left, dropping it in and cleaned up there by Pat Stouts. It's good footy from Nooka, Roberts, but just a little bit more poise when they go forward. Thomas Yeager drilled forward. He's got a free one in front of him. If he can does. just oh, get it to him. Tried on the left, didn't is, quite have it. And this is what I was referring to, that any errors made, Nooka will absolutely make you pay. hold there. Yeah, look, if the Catherine South are making, keep making those errors as they, all their players are running forward, it, when um, when they turn the ball over, Nooker are just cutting them up on the way back because they just move the ball so quickly it doesn't give a chance for the croc players to get back no. behind the footy. Josiah Farrow did well there, opted for the, it was marked but umpires called play on, they've dropped it in the centre there, that is a good kick and it is a good distance. That's number 12 there, Connor Mile. Not a lot of options pushing forward for him to choose from. It'll be a, a good kick from here if he could kick that goal. He has got the breeze. Looks like the wind side. is behind him this time. He's going, looks like left. Oh, it's coming off the top of the boot. It might work. Oh, oh he's like marked Parker. it. That's Parker Fawcett. That's a good mark in these conditions. He's done well there, and he's given them a second chance here to slot one through the big sticks. He's got a bit of a tight angle. He's already kicked two, so this would be number three if he can get it. Might have to think his way through this one. And you'd think just past the 15 and a half sec minute mark, they need this. Good kick. Oh, he's happy about it. And that one there, straight, he kicks straight and true. And that keeps them very much a part of this race. Narrows that margin down to two behinds. Catherine South. Parker Fawcett with his third goal for this first half. Not a lot of opportunities forward for Catherine South this quarter, but that one they managed to get it deep enough. They, they seem to be dangerous when they get it deep. They don't often miss miss the scoring opportunity when it gets deep in their forward line. they just got to find it forward a bit more. Yeah. Nook will be a little bit disappointed because they have controlled this quarter and dominated this quarter so far. Not long left now. No, just past the 16 minute mark. Umpire with the ball up. Good ruck contest. Breaks through the centre. Great hand pass there. He's got options. It's a bounce that's a shepherd off play. Picked up back again there by Jack Murray. Drilled forward. Skiing kicks it forward. You've got Josiah Farrell lurking. Dangerous. But it'll be a boundary throw in. Maybe a little feedback from the crowd there. Mm. Josiah Farrell just having a look and just maybe the maybe the water runner saying a few things, I'm not sure. He's it's not happy. Might just be about, you know, the weather conditions I'm I yeah, the wind. The wind. The sun's in the eyes. All up. Here we go. It's gotten rid of it. It's a kick. Parker force it. Oh, he might be in the back there, giving away a free, or it might be a ball up. He's just no. fallen in the back of him yeah. there. Wind conditions picking up again here at Catherine Showgrounds. 
bit of a fumble with the play, and that one's just crossed over the line again. It'll be another boundary throw in in the Catherine forward. Catherine, they like this. They seem to be a bit quiet in the first half of the quarter, and then the second half of the quarter, they take over a little bit, get a little bit more control. Very much um, so. And it's shown there's not many, only two points separating the two sides. That's good play there from Nooker, and they'll run with it. He's done well. He's opted for the boot. He's got option nice. That's a good sitter there, and that is a great take from Drogba. Oh, oh, go yourself. Oh, surely not. <laughs> that is spectacular from the Bulldogs, and he holds his shirt with crowd. It's his second goal for the court. I think both of them have been from 50 out. That's he had a one-on-one -on -one in the goal square, but he's just gone straight over his head. Correct. And they've done it well, and they keep themselves. Just extend that lead a little bit further that Catherine South just worked to make up. So just pushes them out there. Another goal pushes them to nook up 5-4-34 to Catherine South. 4-2-26. You see Cat South just meeting in the middle there, having a little bit of a chat about what needs to happen in the next couple of minutes to stay right a part of this game, which they very much are. Just the eight points in it. Back in the centre. Good contest. Done well there by Fijo. Sutton's given Sling me. tackle, I think. It's a nook of football. Been hot on the sling tackles today, the umpires. It's good to see. You've got to protect the head. The tacklers, of course, have a responsibility. Very much so. Chip kick to Robertson. Popped it for the left. That's a good sitter there, and that's done well there by Catherine South. They've opted for the switch. He's floating It'll work. It. It's nice. He doesn't have much ahead of him, though. No. It's done well there. It's a hair Ooh. pass. It might be high. Yes, it is. Umpires said that's high. That skein there with winning the footy. He's had a couple of touches this quarter on the wing. He'll be looking to get in the game a bit more. He's booted that one forward. Looking for Catherine options in a sea of blue and red. And it looks like that will be a ball up. Good opportunity here for Cat South. Ball up. Josiah Farrah lurking. Ronnie Fijo available. There's a snap. Oh, oh he's marked it. Marked the force it again. <laughs> he's having a day. He's done well to read the football. It's almost it's nearly exactly the same as what he put yeah. maybe 10 metres back last time. He stopped it. He's this is fourth. With it. He's kicked four. Two in the opening term, two in the second. He's proving difficult for the Nooker defenders at the moment. He's just contesting every footy that goes in the air. He definitely is. And Nooker can't quite stop him. Or just misreading the ball in that swirly air down there. That's it. But Parker force it. Running. What a half. Four goals in the first half for Running him. Amok. You'd think, obviously, there's best on ground. <laughs> it's early to call, but four it's goals. It's a bit early. It's four goals. He's making a good case for himself. He is. He's putting his case forward. He's putting his stamp on the game. Ball just making its way back to the centre. We've got to make space for your mate from Nooker. <laughs> the best on. Tom Thompson. You, you know, is he back out there? It's a ball up in the centre. Good contest in the ruck, evenly matched. Milka doing well out Get of the, the centre. Hand pass. One bounce, hands it back. Looked like a throw. Umpire says no. Oh, it'll work. He's done well. Little chip kick, little bit too much on it. That's Hammond chasing. He's booted it forward there. Couple of bounces. Oh. Just a bit slippery under feet. Daylight in the thick of it. Looks like he's pulled up a bit proppy there. McCarthy in the background. Slung to the ground. Might be a... There's a bit going on. Rory Daylight limping with his strapped knee at the back there. And then yeah. McCarthy infringed upon, so he'll have the kick. Infringed? Yeah, I like that. I like that too. It's a big kick. Oh, it's touched. 
still in play, just dribbles out over the boundary. Parker was lurking. Surely not. <laughs> We'll have a boundary throw in. Looking like umpire Darian Blair there with the boundary throw in. Watch this one, it'll go high and long. Look at the the siren goes to end the first half here of the Sun Cable Big Rivers Football League. Catherine South and Nooker Bulldogs. Catherine South trailing. Catherine South 5-2, trailing the Nooker Bulldogs 5-4. We will be back after halftime. Territory. Our electricity, gas, water and sewage services impact the lives of every Territorian every day. We're committed to providing safe and reliable services and we're part of some of the Territory's biggest projects. We strive to deliver the best for our customers and we're proud to make a difference to the lives of Territorians.
And two to Junior Jaragba and one to Tom Thompson. My man, he's been peppering all day. He has, he has. And obviously we've made some early calls early on. Parker Fawcett, an absolute force to be reckoned with in the opening half, four goals to his name. We are back in the centre bounce here. We see Josh McCarthy coming back on. He spent a bit of time on the bench in the second quarter, but he's making his way up now. Ball up, ruck contest. McCarthy on Ezekiel Thompson. Ball up, great contest there. Out of the centre. Nooker picked up. McCarthy lurking, picked up. Strong and tackle there. Umpire's ball. It's frantic again to start this quarter, frantic. just like we started the game. It is. The tensions are high, Who obviously. can settle? There's only, you know, one more half of footy left in this season, Emily. They push and it what a half it is set to be. Oh, that's an option there. Parker Forks at lurking. <laughs> just ran under it. Oh, that's a good bit of pressure there from both sides. It's picked up. He's going to run with it. He's taking a bounce. He's opted for the right, short, drills it in. And that's a stunning mark there from Lester Gumbala. Drops it into the centre, centering kick. And that's taken there by number 28, Nico Farrell. He's asking for players to move up. He'll have a crack here or? I reckon he might have a red hot crack at this. Just the two points in it. One minute mark of the third quarter of footy here in the grand final. He's got a run up. He'd be kicking from about 56 out. Softer for the left. Oh, just almost no trouble with the distance, no, just the no, line no. there. Correct, it's just gone through for it's a, a good behind. kick. Cat South regaining possession here. They've opted for the opposite of the grandstand wing. It's McCarthy, the big ruckman big out mark. there. Good kick. He's drilled it forward. He's got options, and that's a great take there by Cat South. That's number 10, Reese Hall. He's looking in the middle of the ground. Not sure Shane it's Martin. there. It's a two on one. Oh, good pressure there from McCarthy. Drilled forward again on the left boot. Options. Oh! Still in. Oh, he's picked it. Oh! He's got it. Cheeky. Dean Daniels, I think that was, number seven for the Nooker Bulldogs. He's up and about. That was good pressure there right on the line near the goalpost. He's managed to cherry pick that one and absolutely slot it through. So that just extends that lead that little bit further. Catherine South really brave there, trying to move the ball through the middle of the ground, but kicked it to a two-on-one and the two win almost wins out every time and it was the case in that moment as well. And Nooker Bulldogs able to capitalise on that. Draws their lead out. 6 5 41. The cuts out 5 2 32. We're back in the center. All just making its way back. A little bit of a reset here. Catherine South looking to get this clearance here. Get it forward. McCarthy doing all the work. A double tap. Right boot drilled forward. Over the head of the South's player. Bit of pressure there in the back. Picked up again. Has managed to be pushed out there. Picked up well by the Nooker player. Held there by Thomas Jaeger. Will be an umpire's ball up in the Nooker forward 50. Good contest there. Picked up there by Kat South. He's stepped around one. Ops to drop it in the centre there, and Nooker doing well to make some space and obviously get himself a possession. Mario Joshua there working really hard off his player and committing to that footy. You love to see that. A coach loves to see that in the third quarter of a grand final. Did well to make space. All touch there. It's a good touch there from Rodney Nagawali. It's like a free kick there. Rodney will take it. And again. Playing in front. It's a good mark there from Declan Campbell. He's rocketed that one forward. It's a two on one. 
Bit of a push-off play there from Farah. Umpire has seen it. Its advantage has been played on by the look of it. He'll bring it back. Not sure why he wouldn't pay advantage there, but the ball will come back to the middle of the ground. Cedric Robertson has had a very good first half and started well in this quarter as well. Got it inside 50, but it's been brought back. Little one-two there, don't mind it. Over the top with a hand pass. Oh, he's dummied around him. Oh, might be high. Push in the power. back, I think oh. he's paid. And he's then a retaliation. Bit of push and shove. We want them to focus on the footy. There's still plenty of footy left to be played, and it's anyone's game at this point. Just nine points separating the two teams. It's a bit of yeah, confusion. Over late, the... There was a late hit on Farrah just shortly after the free was granted. I thought there might be a bit of a switch in the free made, which is what's happened. Good pick up there from the Cats South. Gets it in them. He's got numbers in the middle here, and he can go forward. Nice. They've got a free player deep as forward. It pushed forward. Oh, it's a well foot defended. Race. Just gone over the boundary there. Andrew Jones appealing for the free kick, but I think it was quite well defended by the the Bulldogs defender. He Correct. ran back really hard and just engaged enough to, to knock him off balance. So it'll be an umpire's ball in. It's a throw in. Cuts out there. Oh. Parker Fawcett. Parker <laughs> Fawcett. He's running an absolute mark. Goal number five for him. And we're just past the six-minute mark in the third quarter. He, he's he got a good eye for it, and he does it well. Though. He's a young player, and he's really stepping up this quarter. He's dangerous. He's lurking, and they, they're finding him. Correct. They keep giving him the footy, and he keeps he's not letting them down. And it, I will say, though, in no way he's working for it. He's not standing there being fed. He's in the contest. He's working hard for it, and it's paying off for him. So that there narrows that lead there by three points. 6-2, Catherine South to 6-5, Nooker. A goal apiece this quarter, keeping it tight. I did say it earlier that Parker Fawcett may be lodging his ballot for best on. He just put in another. He's just got a couple of more votes <laughs> on his tally there in the by-election. As we're heading back up to the centre here, ball running, chase, good tackle there by Nooker. Nice. That's a right boot there, heading back to the Nooker forward line. Options. Options. That is a great take there by Nooker. There was a Nooker player having a little nap in the middle of the ground, but he seems to have got back up on his feet, and he's okay. That's Kirtley Silva. Just had a little lay down, gathered his thoughts. Nooker kicks it forward. Oh, and it's a strong mark leading. Not sure who that player is. It's uh, number seven. Dean Daniels. Yeah. For his second goal of the quarter, if he can slot this one through. And a fast response from Nooker. He lines up. The wind just, just, just takes it. For a behind. Picks himself up a point. And that will be a kick in there, giving control back to Catherine Souths here to hopefully do something with it. That's a kick in. It looks good. McCarthy under pressure. Parker Fawcett running. He chucks it on the right boot. Options lurking. Nooker cleaning up there. Running through the centre. Drills it forward. Oh. oh. He's paid a free. He'll bring him back. Interesting not to play Oh, he's blocked. There. He's paid oh. the block on that one. Interesting. Oh. That's <laughs> a turnover there. Cedric Robertson's been everywhere today. He has. That's a good kick. Oh. Oh, the bounce. <laughs> oh, that is good goalkeeping there from Catherine Souths, and they're urging slow down. Slow down. That last, their last entry into 40. Played on, but it was a three on one. Oh, and that's a turnover there for the Oh, Bulldogs. here we go. Oh, and he's managed to get that one done. That was number five. Cedric, Cedric Robertson. Robertson. 
That's With second. I think he's also putting his name forward for the ballot. He has. That's his second goal, and he's been patrolling that for, that half forward line it's that for the Nooker Bulldogs. Really good reactive football the Bulldogs are displaying here. Extends their lead to 10 points. Not the largest margin we've seen in the game so far, but it is obviously the biggest margin that Nookers have had on the Souths. So we expect to see. We're at that point in the game now, and sorry, a point of the quarter that we've seen that resurgence from Souths in the last two where you've seen a really strong opening 10 minutes from Nooker and Catherine South have responded in the last two quarters. So we'll see what happens here. Ball coming back to the centre. Lockie Amelan with the ball up. Good tight rut contest. Pushed forward. Picked up there by Souths. Again, push forward, takes one bounce, opts for the right. Great goalkeeping there. Well under pressure. Cedric Robinson again with that Lurking. inside 50. Lurking. That forward 50 entry and really dangerous position here for Nooka. We've seen them crumb and kick goals. Correct. So we'll From see. this position. We'll see what South do with this. That's good there from McCarthy. Pressure might be in the back. There's a free, found a free here. We'll go the way of Catherine Sauer. Oh, McCarthy! <laughs> that is a great take. The boy from the Mornington Peninsula. And say, obviously, a hello to Gerard and Kate, his parents watching from home. The left boot pushed back forward by Nuka. Interesting football tactic there. Josiah Farah working overtime using his body. There's been something called there. 50 yeah. perhaps. Just tackled him after he kicked it there. A little bit undisciplined from Nuka. Mm. Sometimes you want to get that extra bump in, but there's a time and a place. We've got Ronnie Fijo. Just a bit here. late. Ronnie Fijo played. A lot of footy at Wanderers in the NTFL, but recently moved across to Southern Districts, played in their men's Premier League side last year. Absolutely carved up. Has spent a bit of time, I believe, on the GWS VFL list. He's looking good here. He's kicked it. It does look good. And Souths needed that. It's a great kick from Ronnie Fijo. Much-needed goal for Catherine South. Keep them in the running. That brings that lead back to four points, just four points in it. Just passed, or about to pass, the 12-and-a-half-minute mark here of the third quarter. You're watching AFL and T's coverage of the 2023 Sun Cable Big Rivers Football League Grand Final here. Senior men's Grand Final action. And we're back in the centre tight ball game ball up good from McCarthy missed it there good from Farah good pressure there they push it back to push it forward he is opted for the wing nothing but the sea of red unfortunately out on the full they had the numbers there they had a th okay. three three on one there but just that kicked a little too wide and going out of bounds Correct. gives Nooker a chance to win it here at the contest and it was um just goal kicker there Fijo lurking, which would have been dangerous for the Nooker side, but there'll be a boundary throw in. Umpire calling for some separation on the rucks. McCarthy looking to use his, his bigger frame here. Fijo again. Ops to the right boot. Pumps it through. It's got a bit on it. Unfortunately, a little bit too much. Nookie here looking to move it fast. They've opted for the switch opposite grandstand wing, pushing it hard. It's nice and safe hands there with Nico Farrell. He drives it forward. Again, safe hands there with his Nooker Copart. Little bit of candy. Take. That is solid, solid hands there from Catherine Souths. And do they need it? Pushing that one over. They've opted for a switch to the grandstand side. Fijo lurking. He's working overtime in the last few minutes. Drives it forward plays through. It is a two-on-one contest. Parker Fawcett lurking. Drives that one back up to his Nooker counterparts in the centre. That's good there from Jaeger. 
Look with the numbers around that contest there. There's a bounce and they're driving forward. Good pressure. That's it. Good hands. Oh, there's been a play on call. Umpire says, no, that'll be mine. Thank you. Unlucky not to get that mark there, but I think yeah. off the hands of the Nooker player in oh. front of him. Oh, there's a bit of a bit of a scrap. We want to tidy that up. Still plenty of football to play. Very much so. Umpire will try and Go move it on nice and quickly. Just wanting to clean it up. Play on. Ball up. Ball's up. Good defensive work there from McCarthy. It's just nervous by the goals here for Nooker. Oh. Because that's what they'll do. It looks like it may have been touched. No, it's a goal. Umpire says that's through for a goal. That extends that lead there for Nooker. Not sure who kicked that. Is it my man? <laughs> Tom Thompson. Was it, was it? It looks like it may have been. It was a bit of a tight contest there. Unfortunately, we don't have the replay with us this afternoon. You'll have to trust my counterpart, Emily Johnson, that it was her man in Thompson. I'm going to give it to him. So we're back in the centre here. Bit of push and shove there. We want to see that. See both teams just get on with it. Nooker managed to get on with it there and got, got the result for them. Correct. Catherine South will need to refocus here and just win the footy out of the middle and get it forward. That's it. Exactly right. So 15, just about to enter the 16-minute mark here of the third quarter. Lockie Amelan with the ball up. Looks good. That's a good ruck there from McCarthy. Tied up with Farah. Nooker. Doing their best to get it out, which they do. Oh! Three Farrell. <laughs> that is absolute great take there. It's a good Thomas marking and test from Kampala behind him. Thomas Yeager looking to set something up here. That's a good kick. No, it's not. But it's gone out, unfortunately, <laughs> there. The wind has caught it, the dog barking. He had all intentions to set that one Some up. Some numbers his in the middle. Oh, good pressure there. Yeah, you get back at it again. Cheeky hand pass, but it's dangerous conditions there with Nooker lurking in there forward as they, he's done a spike, picked it up, hand pass. And both found a free here. Silver, but it will come back. It's a bit of high contact in that. And it'll go back to the hands of Reese Hall. Opts for the short kick, drops it in very nicely to a leading nooker player there. I'm not sure who that is. He's taking his breath in. Michael Joshua. It's a good angle. That wind is picking up a little bit as well. Looks like it's pushing to the right of the screen, that wind. It'll take so his it'll, best. He'll kick it from 50. It's a strong kick needed here to get that one through, and God, it'll be a good one if he gets it. A little bit of a skip. Players in the square. Drops it, relies on the wind. Oh, little bit short. Just through for a behind. Extends that lead just by the one. Nooker pressing here in this quarter. That We haven't seen it so far in this game. They usually go a bit quiet at the end of the quarter, but really, really pushing Catherine South and Correct. extending their lead. 11 points now. Catherine South are going to have to... They're going to have to peg one back to finish this quarter, I think. Very much so. But look, it's still... We're 11 points in it. Like, it's no one's ball game at this stage. Like... It could be anyone's game. That's Nooker pushing into the forward. Great hands there. Good vision there to find a player in that. He's found Nico Farrell. He's had a couple of shots. He's kicked it behind so far, yet to find the goals. Just entering the 18 and a half minute mark. A little bit of comms coming with the runner and the Nooker runner here. It's getting them organised. Just walking up now. Looks like a good kick. There's been a whistle. It look, it's a 50-metre penalty. The player's jumped over the mark. So he'll get... Nico Farrell will be taken right to the goal line. It'll be a guaranteed goal. Umpires have been hot on that today. Yeah, unfortunate, but they're the rules. He's kicked it, and we'll take a 45-minute break to go find that ball. <laughs> it's probably a gather, you got to fend off the horses and the cows out in that back <laughs> is, paddock there. Yeah, it is the show society. 
that there extends their lead just that little bit further. And this might be the largest margin we've seen for Nooker and Catherine South of the game. 7 to 44 to Nooker's 9 7 61. 19 and a half minute mark here. You can't imagine there's much time left in this third quarter. One more goal for Catherine South would be good. Catherine South really need to win the ball out of the middle here. They've been outdone in the clearances this quarter. Looks so like they've had a change. It might be, is it Patrick Doyle back in the centre there or Andrew Jones? I'm just trying to see Andrew Jones by the look of it. Andrew Jones for the rack. He does well. Picked up nicely. They've opted for the boot. Tough, tough break out of the centre. He needs options. Push back, forward, good pick up there. Just wrapped up, umpire says it's mine. Catherine South working to get that out front, but Nooker just holding up, not letting them get an easy ball forward. Ball up here. Good ruck contest, good control there from Jones. Again, really tight. This is a really clear example of how close this game is and how much there is in it. Mullane in the bottom of that, trying to battle through. Sorry, that was Dice. You see they pushed Josiah Farah back into their forward. They want to give an option. They know if they give it to him, there's a sling. Here we go. They need this. Catherine South with an opportunity to go forward here. They got Josiah Farah pushed forward. Parker Fawcett calling for it in a particular spot. Nooker have got and an extra got a, man back. And they've got a lead. He's drilled it forward. It's a hard area. Oh, oh it's good that is a great take. Looks like Ronnie Fijo again. He's in a good spot here, and this could set up Catherine South in a really good position to enter the final quarter of footy here in the 2023. Yeah, he the needs RFL to kick this, doesn't he? Grand final. He really does. Not long left in the quarter. Peg one back. A bit of momentum as well. They haven't had much this quarter. Oh, he's looked good. He's and nailed that. And it is. That's it there. That's what they needed. It's his second goal. That's it. Puts it back to 11 points. Put some life back in the Catherine South. They're a bit, bit quiet over here on this side of the, the grandstand. You can tell. It's a good crowd in today. Yeah, Everyone's excited. I think we've uh, had some reports of just over a 1,000 through the gates, which is great. For a lovely community footy, great afternoon here in Catherine. And great game of footy in front of us. Can't imagine there's much time left on in this quarter. Might be the final ball up here. They need a strong one to remain a part of this game, Catherine South. Great ruck. Great hands there. They've drilled it forward. Nice hands. That's clean. Well, he wants to, he's got a free player in the 50. He does. He's taking his time. He's still got the out number in the 50. You see Ronnie Fijo is working overtime down there for it. He's opted to just boot it. He's got options. He needs it. Parker looks close. No, they've wrapped it up. That'll go through for a behind. Ross Thompson there rushing it. Good decision. That gives, that gives this margin down to 10 points. About to enter the 23-minute mark here of the third quarter. Nuka need to keep control of this ball until that siren sounds. Great hands there from South if he Ooh. keeps it. No, wrapped up a bit. Good pressure there from Nuka. Surged forward. There'll be a bounce there. Fortunate one for Cat South. No, Nuka taking advantage. Dean not, Daniels. He snapped it. Just through for a behind. Extending that margin once again to 11 points. Nooker moving the ball really well, really fast down the field and not giving the Catherine South defenders much of a chance to set up. No. Well, there's an option here with an overflow ball. Oh! He's done well to keep it in play. He looks like he's got eyes on it. He's done well to keep his hands on it. James Marshall with that. Mark, very important mark at late stage in the quarter. Do not, oh, there we go. There's the siren. There it is, 11 points in it. Heading into the final quarter of football for this 2023 Sun Cable BRFL season. Absolutely everything on the line. There's nothing left to play. One quarter of footy. We'll be right back after the break. Catherine South, 8-3-51 to Nooka, 9-8-62. Power 
and water plays an essential role in the Northern Territory. Our electricity, gas, water and sewerage services impact the lives of every Territorian every day. We're committed to providing safe and reliable services and we're part of some of the Territory's biggest projects. We strive to deliver the best for our customers and we're proud to make a difference to the lives of Territorians. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the final quarter of football action here at Catherine Showgrounds for the Sun Cable Big Rivers Football League Senior Men's Grand Final. Just 11 points in it in this absolute Niall Barter of a game. It's been a tug of war between the two sides and this final quarter is all they've got left of the season. We're starting back in the centre with the ball up. Missed by both parties. Good by Nooker in the centre. Good tackle shrugged off. 
Uh, looks like they've called a trip. That'll be a nooker free. Nooker looking to play on there quickly. Good hands there by number 10 in Reese Hall. It's a tight forward line there. He's opted for a chip. Very good little chip there to Lester Gambola. Almost puts him in an identical position he was in. There's a run and carry happening here with Jake Farrell. Picked up there very nicely by Curtly Silva for his second. Oh. Stunning. Might even be his third. Second. That's his second, oh, yeah. I'm keeping track instincts. here. Should have trusted my instincts. Strong start from Nook, are they? Massive start. Yeah, huge start. They want to keep to attack. They've done it well all day. They want to keep attacking here. Yes, they do. That's a strong start to it as well. Just heading back up to the centre here. A little bit of talk happening with the mids there of Catherine South. Nooker know what they want to be doing. They've gone and assumed their position right away. And with a ball up. Good contest. Ruck one there by Catherine South. Josiah Farrow working overtime in the centre. Good touch there. A little bit messy. There's been a free found. Yeah, Nooker player set himself up really well behind the footy there and that's one that managed to win the free kick. Catherine South having trouble getting out of the middle. He's done the hand pass. Nice to Ronnie Fijo. Fijo pops it on the right boot. He's got an option. He kicks it long. McCarthy lurking. He's got an opposition player there and the Nooker has a tackle. Nooker's successful out of that interaction there. Great hands there and well saved there by number 18 in Lachlan King. Little chip kick. Options there. He's picked it up. Ronnie Fijo shrugs it off. Just it's gone the outside. Try the outside of the boot, but just got a bit much of it there. It's all right. He, he obviously under pressure there and didn't get what he wanted from it. But it would have been exciting if he's kicked it. Correct. You could see the crowd here. There was a few arms that went up and standing <laughs> up that happened on the odd chance that it may have happened. Nooker quick to play on. That's a kick through there, thanks to Andrews in their captain. Push forward again. Picked up there by South, wrapped up very quickly. It's good for good the South have managed to wrap that ball up there. It was Nooker have been doing this end to end footy all day, moving it really quickly. So good for the Crocs to just settle it a bit, see if they can get get their hands on the footy, try and get it forward. Ball up here. Good contest from both. There's a bounce. Nooker with control. It's a foot race here that's two on one. Nooker just scrambling to pick that one up, being wrapped up by the Souths player, and they paid it as a tackle. Cat South needed that one there. Drilled on the opposite to the grandstand wing. It's a little bit long. Andrews lurking for Souths. Picked up there by Nooker. Takes a bounce. Sizes up the options there. Drills it forward. Something off play there. That'll be called back by the look of it, I'd say. Or He did kick it well out of bounds on the full, but I think it was a downfield free kick. That's what I wasn't... Yeah, unfortunately, I didn't see. The player hasn't realised yet. It'll be a Nooker ball. Is that Gambala with the ball having a have a shot? Just can't see the back of that. My man Tom Thompson, Thompson is lurking. He is lurking. I can see him lurking there. Your eyes darted in that direction as he <laughs> jogged over there. Got a few other options as well. Cat South's loading up the square with three of their players. Oh, great kick. Crowd happy with it behind the goals. And that's umpire Jessica Head says, yes, thank you. That one's a goal. Lester Gambala with one. That was a classy finish. Used the win to his perfect advantage. It was a tight angle. Very tight angle. And opted for the drop punt. He's pretty happy. Big smile. Yeah. 20, that puts him 23 points up and plenty of work to do for Catherine South. Nooker have dominated this second half. Catherine South kept themselves in a little bit, but Nooker... 
despite their inaccuracy in front of goals, have managed to find a few recently. Mm. Second for this quarter. You see that they've had the move. They had Josiah Farah circling a lot in the centre there. They've moved him back in the end of the last quarter and he's remained there as well. They've got Josh McCarthy forward as well. Ronnie Fijo playing that centre position as well. You can see that they're trialling some new tactics. Fijo there. Nooker there with the ball again. He's wrapped up. They might be calling it. Yep. Gambala. Holding. Yep. Fair, fairly big tug of the jumper, I think. He's demanded the footy. They'll take their time. They're looking a little bit too easy for Nooker at the moment. Yeah, Nico Farrell, just too much space. Catherine South just caught napping a little bit. The energy is high. Nico's had a few shot on goals here. Just the one converted at this stage. He lines up. Wind is kind of not doing anything at all. He's opted for the left boot. Oh. And that is a behind. See the post there. That's played on very quickly by Kat Souths. And it's risky territory there to be fumbling with this nooker. And they picked up there. Looks good. Looks good. They played on very quickly through the hands there. And that's all. Oh, just a little bit of a fumble there. Umpire Lockie Amalan says that'll be mine. I'll ball that one up. Nooker not wanting to have a repeat of last year, really pushing hard this quarter, fighting for everything. Every single player has stepped up they certainly in this have. game. Ronnie Fijo. Oh, Candy. Working overtime back there. Nice, just to the hands there of Jake Farrell. Nice, clean look, cut through the centre there. Oh, he's played on, and it's beautiful. They've said play on, no tackle paid. Picked up there nicely. There's been a free awarded. Paid oh. <laughs> 18. Oh, oh, he's blazed. My man. <laughs> <laughs> no, just a little bit, just out of bounds there. That was really good work there by Cat Souths, just to get that one out of there. James Marshall with the fit, this mark saving fist there. just don't know if this Cat South side has run out of steam. They just seem to be, it seems, seems to be coming a lot easier to the Nooker team at the moment in terms of their kicks and marks. Umpires found a free for Nooker. They want to put them away here. It's been a solid four quarter effort from Nooker at the moment in this match. We're looking at 24 points at this stage. If he can slot this one, you would almost, I'm going to say it. Am I going to say it? That's five goals. You'd almost say it'd be out of reach if he can slot this one. Looks like a good kick. Maybe a little bit too much nice. on it. Good pressure there. Out of bounds. Yep. Touched on the line there. That'll be a ball in there. Umpire Darian Blair going to retrieve the football. Stays in the nooker forward line, which is where they want it. They don't want to give South a sniff at this. No. So they're doing well to retain possession. Ball thrown in. It's kind of first to it at this stage. It's a little bit of a mess. It's picked up, scurried forward. Just out of bounds there. That'll be another ball in. Four Catherine South players defending the line. Mm. I think they need to they need a score. Their focus should be on trying to win the footy and get the ball forward. You can see that Josh McCarthy's made his way up here. He's back he's, in the ruck. He's back in, he's nominated as the ruck here. It's heaps of numbers it's in using this that, those D50. Tools. Oh great take there by Nooker. Strong as ever, and that's number 19 in Sylvester Waramurra. He's pointed long. Top of the square. He'd be kicking from about 55 or 57 at this point, you'd think. Oh, he's got a lead here. He's got a lead. He's opted no. to know. Oh, looks like maybe came off the side of the boot a little bit. Oh, spoiled mark by a fellow teammate there. You can see that Jared Andrews went up to take that one, but spoiled by his fellow teammate, Cat South. 
really needing to get this one out of Nooker forward 50. It'll be a ball in. Hands by Joshua McCarthy. It's picked up there. Lots of Saint, uh, lots of Catherine Souths lurking. They need to just get some control here. Pushing hard. Oh, oh looks good. Cedric Robertson. God. He's got to be he, one of the best players on the ground at the moment, doesn't he? He's absolutely up and about. The he's celebration just kicked his was third, fantastic. Pumping the chest. Nooker, Nooker have worked really hard this year to be a force to be reckoned with. After missing and out last year. Correct, only obviously by a pretty significant margin down to Camels and then making working hard this year to come back and have a chance at redemption. You can see they... Oh, after that celebration there from Cedric, you'd think that they maybe can taste it at this point. It's exciting for them. So we'll see where we get to, but not riding off Souths as of yet. There's still another at least 10 minutes left in this game. You see they've made the switch. McCarthy back in the centre. Josiah Farrah moved back into the forward. Ronnie Fijo still lurking. See Parker Fawcett making his way into the centre for Souths as well. There'll be a ball up. Oh. Again, here we Nooker go. Nooka just running in numbers here. Oh. oh. Good defensive pressure there from Catherine Souths. A lot of composure from Cedric Robertson there to get the ball in board. Jake Farrell working overtime there as he has for a lot oh. of the game. They're 30 points up and they want to play on. <laughs> it's a it's a nooker free kick. There's five Catherine South players around that ball and it's given away the free. I actually don't think that it was clear what the decision made was. Because you can see there's a lot of confusion on Cat South's face, even within the umpires at the moment. And too. now there's a and 50 there's a metre 50 penal paid. being paid. Not sure what's happening here. You can't imagine that's going to go down well with Cat South. Just to give one but away. Nooker. Like that. Just stretching their margin with 36 mm. points. A few shake of the heads there for Catherine South. <laughs> Nooker celebrating behind the goals there. Yeah. They got the flags They're out, arms excited. in the air. Looks like it was so Zachariah you can see Waramara this. with that one, with that goal. It's it. his first. Catherine South's. Patrick Doyle making his way to the umpire just to ask for some clarification on what the decision making behind that was. Obviously within his rights too, but decision has already been made. Catherine Souths huddling in the centre there to try and make some kind of game plan to get control back in this game. Slipping them, flipping away from them pretty quickly here. Nook have really put their foot down on the throttle. Le learned a lot from last year and they're still focused and they're not celebrating just yet. They're focused. They want to get the job done. Make sure to get the job done. Well, that's a good hands there from Catherine Souths, but turned over very quickly by Cedric. Rocketed forward. Oh, they've got to be good and precise here to get it out of that nooker forward line, which they are. They pushed it hard. He needs to get it before the boundary does, which he does. Drops that in. There's options there. A lot of blue shirts lurking. And they've turned it over, pushing that one back forward. Nice. Nooka Solid just mark. doing what they've done all day off half back there. It's nice controlled footy now. Just take the edge off it. Reese Hall there with the footy on the outer wing. It's kicked in. There's a lot of red shirts. Joshua McCarthy, clearing kick, a little Ooh. bit too late. And a push in the back there. Bit of frustration from the Catherine South mm. players, I think. Rodney, Nagawali, just getting in the back there. Nooka maintained possession of the ball. They've dominated possession this quarter. They've dominated field position. Oh, and poor kick cut off by Parker Fawcett there at centre half back. He's come up the ground. Kick to the outer wing, contested. Nooka Bulldogs with the numbers at the ground. Still 
contested in there. Catherine South get a clear out. Foot race, 2v1. It's good work for Just Catherine can't South quite there. get control of the footy. Bit of a hold, It'll pay advantage. That's a good mark there. Really good there from Cedric Robertson. He's had a fantastic game today, hasn't He's he, had Cedric? A great outing, a Three great goals. He's been pumping the ball inside 50 and just dominant, just controlling the centre square for the Bulldogs. Still in the play here. Just a chip kick over the top. Might be out. Yep. Boundaries beat him to it. See the crowd starting to make their way closer and closer to the fence. A few minutes left still. With bated breath. Ready to celebrate who will be victors of this match today. Umpire throw in. Taking his time to get it back in. Oh, might have been kicking in danger, but hasn't been called. Good pressure there, picked up really nicely by M Mikhail Collins. Oh, oh that looked oh. good. It was awkward, but he made it work. That's a 50, yeah. He's yep. Tackled him there. That's Just that. assumed he might not have taken the footy, but a great mark. I'm not sure who that was. It's Thomas Jaeger, I believe. He's run all the way. There's no one stopping him. Well, he has to be careful here to get that right. Slot ride. the goal. Oh, he's been dropped after the play, but he's, he's kicked the goal, made sure of it. <laughs> Catherine South, peg one back. Is there a chance? Is there hope? What are we looking at? Five goals. Five goals. Five minutes. Five minutes. It's not unheard of. It's not unheard of. If you can see, you know, there's this little bit of tension that's popping up. And for Nooker to have a little bit of a late hit after the ball, are they, is that, do the screws loosen a bit? Is there decisions made that shouldn't have been? Is this the Catherine South, their chance to ease their way in? If they can get a bit of composure here and control of the game, it could still be very much theirs. But Nooker have, haven't taken their foot off the throttle, as you said very much at all. We're back in the centre. 30 points the difference. McCarthy v Lingari. Ball up. Ruck contest won by McCarthy. There's a bounce. Nooker favours. Follow through there. This run and carry football they've been doing all day. Pushes it to the forward. Oh just like that. that was Catherine good South claiming the... touched off the boot. Umpire was going to call a goal. She's just, yeah, they've called it touched. They've called it touched. Really good pressure from Nooker. And really great composure there from the umpires to slow down, make the right decision, which they've obviously consulted each other and have. That's what it is. Parker forced it up the ground. He's kicked five today. He's a long way from home. That's a good hand. He needs options forward. The Catherine South need to push forward with options here. Drives it forward. Close to the wing. McCarthy takes a great mark. We we'll need to move it quickly here. Which he is. He's gone for the right boot. He's dropped it in. Might be a sitter. It's three on one. Jaeger lurking. Good tackle. Might be high. Pull it up. A ball up here. And there's an option. Cat South need to score quickly here. Nooker with the clearance. It's a free kick, high tackle. Nooker's football. They'll bring it back. Suck some time off the clock. Control it to the end. Can't imagine there's much time on. Maybe about three minutes. Bold kick across the face. But I suppose you're in, they're in control of the game. They certainly are. They haven't missed much today. They had players run a muck through the middle. Just This is the most controlled we've seen them. Slowing it down. The last couple of minutes of this grand final. Push it forward. Just got to get rid of it. Not that way. Nooker go forward again. 
Kirtley Silver's been big today. Gets it, gets the ball moving forward, but it's rebounded by Catherine South. Blitner there. It's a good turnover a there. Knocker player down in the middle of the field. Well, he's launched on for the switch sure. here for Parker. Takes nicely by Fawcett. He needs players to push forward, give him options. Launches it forward. Under it. Nice, clean mark. Good mark. That was a pretty, pretty mark. And exactly what this Catherine South side need. Great take there in Andrew Dones. Oh, he's kicked it. Got it. Looks good. Oh, just a little bit to the right. The Thought wind dragged it a little bit. Yes. He's been solid today, Andrew Jones. He's performed well in the ruck. Yeah. Well under pressure. He's taken some really strong dominant marks. Can't quite find the scoreboard. Nooker here playing on. Kicked in. Down the guts. Parker force at working overtime again. However, no one there. Nooker Bulldogs, 30 points up. Sirens. Probably a mere seconds away, controlling the footy here. Kicked Just in. not letting. Free kick found. There's four South players in front of him. But doesn't opt for any of them. He's, He's gone on the barrel. He's gone deep for, yep, taken in a mark there. Wouldn't mind seeing the intercept mark stats for Nuka. Mm. As they control it, down the wing, pushing forward now. Great mark. That is a very nice mark. Dean Daniels, there. he plays on. Oh, that has to see. Let's celebrate think. that one. You'd have to think that that is it, and that has all got them safe and home. This Nooka Bulldog side, and God, they're celebrating. They're up and about. Dean Daniels with his second. He puts the Nooka Bulldogs 36 points up late in the last quarter. Signed, sealed, delivered, would you say? You'd have to say. that's a, It's a huge margin there for them. It'll be a happy bus trip home for the Nooka players and their fans. The whole community, I think, is correct. come to Catherine today. They had a couple of coaches pull in earlier. Yep. They had, they had a bit of a string of bad luck on the way here this morning with the bus breaking down on the way in. But obviously that got all the bad juju out of the way so they could play a ripper game of football here this afternoon. Unfortunately, their women's side went down in a close game in the uh, women's grand final earlier against the Arnhem Crows. But the men have been able to get the job done the umpire will ball it up. That's a great ruck there from McCarthy. Josiah Farrah working overtime to get that one and make it his. He's wrapped up by three players. Manages to play it on, however, turned over. There, there it is. is. There it is. Look at Bulldogs. Your 2023 Sun Cable Big Rivers Football League. Grand final premiers they've taken out the season. An absolute shot at redemption. And they can taste the sweet glory after being let down last year, working overtime this year. Finished home and away season in the top spot. Worked overtime today. And God, they're celebrating as they deserve to be. Unfortunate loss there for the Catherine South side who worked overtime throughout the whole game. Unfortunately, it was Nooka who prevailed in the end. They were just the strongest side in the last quarter. Really dominant performance. Like, really held up in that last quarter. There's moments in the game where you thought Catherine South, they kept themselves in it, but Nooka just putting the foot down and not taking the foot off the pedal. Yeah. And driving home. 36-point victory for them. Sweet, sweet redemption from last year. 100%. They worked hard for it. Got the goal kickers here. Um... We got three goals to Cedric Robertson, two to Junior Jaragba, Tom Thompson, Dean Daniels, and Curly Silva, and then one each. Two. He worked like a Trojan horse all day. Number twelve, Jake Farrell from the Bulldogs. He he was seemed, in my opinion, to be involved in everything. He worked hard for it, and um, be interesting to see who um, takes that one out this afternoon. Look, it's been an absolute pleasure to host you this afternoon for the 2023 Sun Cable Big Rivers Football League Grand Final. That is all she wrote, folks. And we're part of some of the Territory's biggest projects.
We strive to deliver the best for our customers and we're proud to make a difference to the lives of Territorians.